Hi there, and welcome back to Dragoonies Bite. Today we're diving into a holiday classic that's just as fun to make as it is to eat. It's Linza cookies. These buttery, crumbly treats with a sweet jam filling are not only gorgeous, but absolutely delicious. First up, let's make the dough. Grab 300 grams of flour and dump it on the work surface. Make a small well in the center and into it place 200 grams of butter cubes. As you can see, it's soft to the touch, but still holds its shape. This will allow for easier handling and it will incorporate nicely into our flour. Massage and knead them together until it resembles a very rough sand. To the center of the sandy pile, add 100 grams of powdered sugar and mix it in. After, add in 100 grams of finely ground almonds, as they will give the Linza cookies their signature nutty flavor. Add half a teaspoon of cinnamon, grate in zest of a half a lemon, and add 7 grams of vanilla sugar. Mix everything together, so all the dry ingredients are now well combined. Add two egg yolks, poke each of them, and in circular motion, quickly mix them in the dry mixture. Use a spatula or your hands to bring the dough together gently, but don't overwork it. Once the dough is smooth and holds together, shape it into a disc, wrap it tightly in cling film, and chill it in the fridge for at least an hour. Chilling helps the dough firm up and makes it much easier to handle later. Now that the dough is nice and firm, let's roll it out. Sprinkle a little flour on your surface to keep the dough from sticking. Cut away half of the dough and wrap it up so it doesn't dry out. The other half Shape it into a rectangle and roll it out to about 3 mm of thickness. Gently start pressing with your rolling pin so the dough stretches out. Turn it once and start rolling again. Don't worry if the dough cracks a little, just push it back together and keep on rolling and stretching the dough. Next, grab your cookie cutters. Traditionally, Linza cookies are round with a small cutout in the center of one half. But you can use fancy edge or keep it simple with a plain round cutter. And for the centers, a tiny heart, a star or even a bottle cap will do the trick. Cut out an equal number of full cookies and cookies with cut out centers. If it are softens as you go, pop it back in the fridge for a few minutes. It'll make cutting much easier. Once you've got all the cookies ready, transfer them to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and bake the cookies for about 8 minutes on convection setting. Keep an eye on them. Linza cookies are delicate and bake very quickly. You're looking for a light golden edge, not a deep brown. Pro tip, rotate your baking tray halfway through for even cooking, especially if your oven has hot spots. Once baked, Transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Trust me, you don't want to handle them while they're very warm. They're fragile until they've cooled down. Next, take your base cookies and spread a generous layer of jam on the flat layer of the cookie. Now take the top cookie and gently press it against the jam. Rotate it slightly to align it with the bottom one, and voila, the cookie is done. The jam will pick through the center, creating that signature linser look. Raspberry is the classic choice, but feel free to experiment with apricot, strawberry or even citrus marmalade for a tangy twist. All that is left now is to dust them with the powdered sugar. As the sugar is coating the cookie stops, it reminds me of the gently falling snow on the rooftops of the houses. And there you have it! Gorgeous, festive, 
Learn to cookies that taste as amazing as they look. These cookies are perfect for the holiday season, but honestly, they're so good, you'll want to make them year round. As a little bonus, they're the best after they have been left in the cookie box or a Tupperware container for a day or so. Pack them with a parchment paper between the layers so they don't stick together. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipe like this. Let me know in the comments what kind of jam you'd use for your Linze cookies or if you have your own twist on the classic recipe. Thanks for hanging out with me on Dragoonies Bites and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!